Good morning and welcome. I'm Christine and today I'm taking morning prayer from the Northumbria community. You can find it on our webpage, Dedham and Ardley Parishes, under resources. Now today is Ascension Day, so let's just pause and give thanks. Jesus, who was crucified for us, has been raised from the dead, has ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God in glory and he will come again. So let's praise our Lord Jesus Christ at the beginning of our service this morning. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us and your wonderful, wonderful work. And thank you for your sovereign power over all creation because you have risen from the dead. Thank you, Lord. We praise and glorify you and worship you this morning. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. So we declare our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Our passage today is from Acts chapter 13, beginning at verse 42. Well, Paul is going out, carrying the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which we just reminded ourselves of as we praise him on this Ascension Day, and he's telling the Jews in the synagogue in Pisidian Antioch all about Jesus and how he fulfills all the scriptures, everything they knew. But they're not sure, they're hesitating. And this is what happens next. The people invited them to speak further about these things on the next Sabbath. When the congregation was dismissed, many of the Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who talked with them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. On the next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and talked abusively against what Paul was saying. Then Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly, We had to speak the word of God to you first. Since you reject it and do not consider yourselves worthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and honoured the word of the Lord, and all who were appointed for eternal life believed. The word of the Lord spread through the whole region, and the Jews incited the God-fearing women of high standing and the leading men of the city. They stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from the region. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. So don't expect an easy time when you preach the gospel. I think Jesus told his disciples that if 
um, they were rejected and their message were rejected to shake the dust from their feet and to go elsewhere. And that's what Paul did, obeying the teaching of the Jews, of Jesus. And the result was that the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The other people who were filled with joy were the Gentiles who heard that the message was a light for them. I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. This goes right back to the time of Isaiah, who prophesied that one would come to be a light, the light of the world, that is Jesus, and he would give that light to his believers, and that's us. And we have that light to shine, that his salvation will go to the ends of the earth. And that was what Jesus told his disciples to do, to go and share the gospel to all creation. Tell everyone that you meet about the wonderful things that God has done through Jesus. But you will meet trouble. And so did Paul and Barnabas. And Paul went on to meet much trouble and uh, adversity. But... God carried him through and gave him much joy in believing. So let's thank God for this wonderful gospel that we have received because of God's Holy Spirit. Amen. I apologise for the no noises off. I hope that helped your meditation. So let's pray for ourselves and for others. Lord Jesus, you want us to be a light. A light to the Jews, a light to the Gentiles. A light to whoever we meet today and every day. Thank you that you put your word into print for all nations. Thank you for those busy translating your word so that all can read your wonderful word of life and come to believe in Jesus Christ and how he fulfilled all the scriptures right back to Genesis, right to the end of Revelation. What a Lord we have. So we ask you, to fill us now afresh with your Holy Spirit, that we may rejoice and be glad in this wonderful news and we may be ready to share with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we put on Christ. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield. Christ beside me on my left and my right. And so we receive his blessing, just as those disciples did as they waited on the Mount of Olives to see our Lord Jesus ascend into heaven. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with us, wherever he may send us. May he guide us through the wilderness, protect us through the storm, May he bring us home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring us home rejoicing once again into our doors. And so we go in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>